a chilly start for many of us with some beautiful autumn sunshine and the fine weather last for the next few days. I'll have all the details of that and more coming up on Good Morning Britain. Tuesday, 28th. The weather has been really hit and miss. Over the weekend, we had that sunshine and it was cold and then the cloud moved in. But I think the best kind of weather this time of year is that cold, frosty, sunny weather where you wrap up warm. And that is what we'll have over the next few days. The jet stream divides the cold that we're going to have and the mild, cloudy conditions we had for much. Uh, so it was cold for our Andy there in Copenhagen. I'll show you where it is. And yes, his temperatures are minus five degrees. And probably the warmest it will be today is about minus four, Andy. So you need to keep on doing those star jumps. But do you know what's the perfect kind of autumn winter weather? That crisp sun sunshine and beautiful frosty weather and as long as you have wrapped up warmly there's never the wrong weather just the wrong clothes so the weather that they have in Copenhagen actually dominating us as well and through the next few days our temperatures will tumble accordingly we're looking at minus seven minus eight degrees over the coming nights so all of us have been introduced Good morning to you. There is a distinct chill in the air and it's set to turn colder for the next few days because the air that's been waiting in the wings, this colder blue air, is now moving right across the UK. First thing this morning, we're frost-free in the south, but in the coming nights, it is set to get colder and colder. First thing, we have clear skies across some northern areas where there'll be plenty of sunshine, but temperatures down to minus four or minus five. In the south, we're at plus four or five, with clouds slowly clearing. And for many of us, it is a dry-looking day ahead. And then eventually, there'll be lots of gorgeous autumn sunshine. The winds are northerly, and that feeds in some showers. A few along the north coast of Northern Ireland, the west coast of Wales, the tip of Cornwall, and across the northeast of Scotland and England. Cold enough here for some flakes of snow, adding in the wind, feeling freezing. Well, you're probably going to need some thermal underwear as we head through the next few days because it is set to turn colder. Cold air lurking in the wings is now flooded right across the UK and in the coming nights our temperatures could fall as low as minus 7, minus 8 degrees. It was chilly this morning, not cold for all of us, not as cold as it's set to get. Clearest in the north with sunshine and a frost in the south is frost-free thanks to largely cloudy skies. But as we head through the day, the cloud lifts and breaks and a good-looking day ahead with plenty of sunshine. A few showers through west and an east and coast and in the east they're cold enough to fall as snow particularly across the northeast of scotland so four or five today adding in the wind feeling like freezing and the outlook turns colder Good morning to you. The weather is feeling a little festive over we as we head through the next few days. A cold northerly blast develops and it means for today it is chilly for many, particularly in the north, but there'll be plenty of sunshine. Cloud in the south has helped to hold temperatures up, so four or five degrees here, but minus four or minus five was our starting temperature with a frosty, sunny start in the north. It is dry for many of us. The cloud will lift and break, so sunny spells for England and Wales, blue skies for Scotland and Northern Ireland. Light rain showers for Northern Ireland, Wales and the southwest of England but cold enough for eastern Scotland and the northeast of England for any of those showers to fall as snow. Now, overnight it is clear, it is cold, a widespread frost, and tomorrow we do it all over again, but two to six at best, and adding in the wind tomorrow, feeling more like freezing.